Hi, welcome to Data Engineering and today we are going to discuss about the basic commands in Hive like create table, insert, load and uh, uh, describe, drop, etc. So uh, if you want to find the complete Hive videos, I have shared my Hive video playlist link in the description box of this video. Also, there is one more playlist you can find that in the description box, Big Data Course, in which not only Hive, you can find all the videos from, uh, from lesson 1 to till end and I will be keep on adding more videos to the playlist as well. Okay, let's get into the topic. So as I told you in uh, uh, in all the videos, like first uh, to start with Hive, you need to start your Hadoop services. Okay, and then only you can able to work with Hadoop. So you can start your Hadoop services with the command sbin slash start hyphen all dot sh. So now in my machine, the services is already running. So I'll just show you JPS. Okay, now change your directory to uh, Hive and then you can just give bin slash hive so if you give this it will enter into hive shell so you can uh, see here so it's I'm, I'm already in the hive shell okay now uh, what we are going to do is like first we can uh, uh, execute the very first command show database so uh, before that sql uh, 92 is the base language that is used by hive hive is a query engine and it is not a database that's very important to note and uh, uh, if you are from an RDBMS side, that means you are aware of SQL. Basic SQL is wide enough for you to work with Hive. Okay, and the SQL flavor uh, uh, mostly it will be related with MySQL. If you already worked in MySQL, the Hive queries will be similar to MySQL queries only because in Oracle and MySQL, if you see Oracle will be different. But still, yeah, uh, uh, SQL basics is wide enough whether you you have been working in Oracle SQL or you've been working in MySQL SQL or SQL Server Management, anything is fine. Basic SQL knowledge is wide enough for you to enter into this. Okay, the very first thing, uh, let me do show databases it's databases okay it's not database databases so we have the database test and default so default is a database that you will see by default only it is created by hive not by us now there is one more database called test which i have created so now i'm going to drop the database drop database test okay so now i'm going to create a database so create database test enter so now the database got created so if you want to select this database you have to give use test so that means you are selecting this database and then uh, to list all the tables you you can give like show tables so this is to just list all the tables you can do this now in this i am going to create a table called emp okay so create table test.emp so i am giving database name dot table name so it's so since we selected the table by giving use test so even though you are doing that uh, still always i'll recommend to add database name in front of table name everywhere okay so in hive you can also able to uh, uh, run a hql file that means you write all the queries in one file and save the file and you can trigger that file in hive so that is also possible so during that time if you forget to give the database name then the table creation or whatever you are doing it will it will search for the default database only it will search inside default database so it's very important safe and side always you can start with database name dot table name or if you are writing an hive script file the hql we used to call it as hql file hive query language is called hql okay so in oracle and mysql we used to write sql files right dot sql file like that here we have to do dot hql for example you i'm writing all these commands in a file and i save it as like test dot hql and i can run that hql file so how to run a hql file all these things we can see it in the upcoming video so in this video let we will make the video so simple fine so if you are writing an hql script in the very beginning you can give use database name that is if you are giving that like that then fine you don't want to give database name in front of each uh, means in front of the table name everywhere in your file it's not required but sometimes if you miss that in the very first line then obviously it will search for the default database and sometimes it will say table not found or uh, insert is failed because the table not found because it will search for search in, it will search the tables inside the default database so it's always better to give the first line use database name in your script or go with giving database name in front of the table name everywhere in your script and that is recommended too okay fine so now i'm going to create a table and if you see uh, this uh, four lines of create table syntax is very familiar for you create table table name serial number username city and i'm giving the data type int string uh, 
so here there is no need of giving the uh, values for the data types like where care 20 where care 30 something like that it's not required for you to give here just string and int is wide enough okay and uh, this will be familiar for you but if you see here the last line something i have given right so row format delimited field terminated by comma and line terminated by slash n which is new line and stored as text file okay so i will tell you what is stored as text file so hive supports various storage formats like orc rc park and these are some file formats in which uh, we are storing the data that is a data format so text file is the plain vanilla format okay so list of storage formats as a separate video i will make so in that we can discuss now here i am giving stored as text file i am asking the table to store the file as a text file only and i will show you my input data uh, which i'm going to load it for the table so if you see all these are uh, the lines are uh, separated by new line and the values are separated by comma okay so that is the reason here i'm saying row format delimited terminated by comma now imagine if you are not giving this last line your table creation will be successful but when you try to load a file into the table you will see only null values okay so so you can ask me a question then when i can use i mean when when i i don't want to use this okay so this line is not required okay when you are trying to do an insert query okay there is two ways to load the file one is load data you can use a syntax called load data and you can load the file and there is one more syntax called insert into which is like you can insert record by record so when you are inserting a record from spark or you are inserting a record from scoop so it is an insert it is not load it will the insert will happen okay so in that case this delimiters are not required okay so hive itself will take care of storing the data when it comes via insert but when you are doing a load a file you want to load then you need to mention the delimiters what you have used in that okay now so we can create this table okay so now the table is created so i'll just give show tables okay so there is a table emp fine so now the next thing is load data local in path load data in path so there is two load commands okay one is load data local in path load data in path so load data local in path means you you are reading a file from your local file system that is your linux not your hdfs your local file system and you are loading it to your hive table that is load data local in path when you are doing load data in path the second command so it's not from local so you already have a file in hdfs and then you are loading that file to hive table from local file system to hive load data local in path from hdfs to hive it is load data in path that's it so i will show you now so first i will go with load data local in path and in my local i have this file you can see here so user data dot txt and if i go for the properties you can see home slash test slash user data dot txt so i am giving the same path here home slash test slash user data dot txt okay let's load load it here so loading has been started so once it is get loaded let's do select star from emp okay so you can able to see the data now if you see here when i triggered the load command there is there was no map ready job by default uh, so you might have aware that hive is running on map reduce engine okay and it can run on two more engines called taze and spark but that we have to configure so by default any queries that you run you might have heard that it will trigger a map reduce job but if you see here i triggered a load command there is no map reduce job because when you trigger insert command map reduce job will trigger but when you do a load there won't be any map reduce job process it is a simple load that's it and there is one more thing you you, you might have noticed when i give select star from table name there was no map reduce job running right because when you use only aggregation functions in your query map reduce job will get triggered okay i will show you that example also in the same video fine so now let's go for load data in path okay what does mean by load data in path i said from hdfs to hive so that means first you need to have the data in hdfs so what we'll do for that so i'll load the data to hdfs first so it's in my local so let's go with hadoop command hadoop fs iphone put then i have to give my source path test which is local okay this is local actually so user data dot txt space slash user underscore data dot txt so this is I'm, I'm just loading my data from local to hdfs first okay 
now this is getting loaded to hdfs now from here from hdfs we are going to load the data to hive that is the next step so if you if you see here then second command the local keyword is missing so when you give a local keyword then automatically whatever the path you have given here will be considered as local path only but there is no keyword local means automatically hive will consider the path as hdfs path so here this is hdfs path okay so copy this command and let's see the uh, the copy from local to hdfs completed yes now it is completed let's make sure the data is uploaded to hdfs by giving ls command slash because slash is the path to which i have loaded my user data.txt let's check that okay so if you see here user underscore data.txt fine so and here it's user i will add e here fine now just copy this okay go to your hive shell enter so there is one more load we are we are triggered here so now like you will be having 20 records like 1 to 10 and then 1 to 10 so two times we have loaded now how these loaded files will be get stored in hive in in how it will be get stored in hive under because whatever you load inside hive end of date gets stored where in hdfs okay by default all your hive tables will be get stored in hdfs in a default path called user slash hive slash warehouse okay so in h this is an interview question by default all your hive tables will be get stored in this path only user hive warehouse i will show you if you see here you can see all my tables are getting uh, displayed here in which you can see there is a line uh, user hive warehouse test.db that is we created a database right so that is what it is showing here so wait, let me do an ls here okay and the ls what i'm so the ls whatever i'm showing here is not linux ls so that is very important because most of the time people used to ask me uh, whatever the file that you are showing here is a linux file no it is hdfs file i'm not showing my local files i'm giving hadoop fs ls it's not just ls okay so ls so now we are just doing ls for our test.db so test is uh, nothing but our database so within that we'll have a table called emp so that emp will be stored as a directory only you can see here now slash emp enter so now inside emp we have loaded a file right two files we have loaded so it will be like two files let's wait for the ls if you see here first i have done a load data in path and second i have done load data local in path and you can see there is two files now we just used load command to load the data and i'm showing the file structure internally how it is get stored in hdfs for hive table i'm showing it in hdfs now there may be one question that should come in your mind or else i will tell you what is that question is so without using load command uh, can i use normal copy command and load the data under this emp directory will that add the data to my hive table yes of course it will do okay if you didn't get my question i will i will do it practically here see we have done a load command right and then the files got loaded under this emp slash user now without using the load command can i manually like this hadoop fs hyphen put then your local file home test slash user dot txt and i am loading this file directly to this hive table directory by using hdfs command not via hive so is that possible so that is what my question so it's it's already the name is there so i'll give one dot txt okay this is also possible so you create a table first in hive and without doing a load command without executing the load command you can even do it via hdfs commands you can just place the file under your table name directory in hdfs and that way also you can load the data so now the file got uh, inserted into this path let's let's do that so i'm just uh, doing ls for my emp table you now you can see three files that means now i can see 30 records in my hive table see three files right so let's let's double check with the hive so let me do a select star from once again select star from table i'm triggering it once again and you can see three set of files got loaded yes without load command also you can manually place the file to the table name directory also will it also will work okay 
Now, what is the next thing? So, next thing I am going to show insert command. So, I am going to show only the insert, but update and delete it will work with ASCII table. So, ASCII table is a separate topic I will cover in my upcoming videos. So, let's try only doing this insert. So, this insert is similar to normal uh, insert only. There is nothing different. So, as I told you, when you trigger insert, your MapReduce job will get triggered. Now, see MapReduce job started but for load there won't be any map reduce job but for insert map reduce job will get started and um, and whenever it comes via spark or whenever it comes via scoop also internally the the map reduce will get started okay so when it loaded via spark uh, i will use spark uh, job only but when i'm saying via scoop or you trigger an insert command then internally it is going to use map reduce engine only and that is why you are getting map reduce uh, logs here okay so what i'm i'm loading here is uh, like 1g chennai okay let's see once the load get complete let's see that okay so if you see here the data got loaded select so star from emp now there will be one more extra record yes you can see it's a first record okay now what is the next command so it's like uh, describe table so which will just show you the table name, uh, table details like data types and uh, so it is just showing the data uh, column names and then the data types. So there is one more describe command called describe extended uh, table name. So this will show you the complete details of the table whether it is it is partitioned or whether it is bucketed and what path it gets stored and like like whether it's a managed table or uh, uh, external table so if all the details and what file format you use so everything you can able to see here so here i just wanted to tell you uh, as i told you already so by default it will get stored under this user high virus but you can able to change the location of the table that is possible that we can see it in the next video uh, internal and external table there will be a video topic in which i will cover uh, how to specify the location custom location in which you want to store your table so in, instead of user high virus you are trying to store the table in a different hdfs path it's possible by giving a location while creating a table and i will i will explain you those stuff in the upcoming video fine so this will give you the detailed explanation about your table like whether it is partitioned or buckets everything you can see here that's it fine so now uh, let me uh, show you there is one more show functions this is important so in this you can see all the predefined functions in hive like min function max function uh, sum function so you can see so many functions over here so and the functions which is not here and you want to do something which is not here for example you want to convert all your column values to uppercase and that upper function is not here then you can write it on your own we call it as udf and udaf user defined function and user defined aggregation function that again i will i will show you in the upcoming videos fine so and finally uh, i will show you one select query with var condition okay uh, and uh, for for this query also you will not see any map reduce job because select star from table name just select star will not trigger any map reduce job for example i am going to trigger count star so this is an aggregation function right so for this uh, you will be seeing map reduce job gets triggered yes it got triggered so this sometimes in interview people will ask you select star from table name in hive will trigger a map reduce job or not it won't okay so what kind of queries will trigger a map reduce job any aggregation query joins or count or some min max any analytical query anything any aggregation queries you trigger or joins you trigger map reduce job will get started so now you can see map reduce job gets started so in this video we discussed only the basic stuff uh, to kick start and i have more videos that i will upload in upcoming days uh, within two weeks i will upload more videos and uh, stay touch with my uh, playlist and uh, if you want only high videos there is a playlist separate for high only you can see that in the description box or if you want a uh, big data course videos there is again a separate uh, playlist you can find in which like from lesson one to lesson end i have uploaded so many videos like hdf spark hive uh, no sql and everything i have uploaded and i will be keep on uploading to that playlist as well so stay touch with our playlist and please do subscribe channel if you like this video and uh, do share this video in your linkedin profile and with your colleagues and friends thanks for watching and we do have a lot of tech videos please go to my channel and have a look thanks for watching